Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. We're still on the rooftops of the Grand Archives. Because I'm going to assume this entire building is the Grand Archives. And I'm thinking we're going to need to go to that highest tower on the opposite side of Lothric Castle again. Uh, so we can get to Prince Lothric. Because I still think that's the uh, objective. Since the lady uh, in the cathedral below where we fought the dancer pointed us into that direction. We still need to be careful about that other gargoyle. Because... Oh! There's another one of those worshipping dudes over there. Okay. What is he doing? Did he just... Okay. Uh, goodbye, I guess. So that's... Oh no. What the hell is going on? So there's another gargoyle over there. I can't target it just yet. Yeah. Is he weaker than the other one? Yeah, plunging attack. There we go. Goodbye. He didn't really drop anything. So those crystal lizards have probably suicided by now. Yes, they did. Let's see what else is here. I still hear a few. That's why I was quiet for a second, because I think I heard a few. So I could go down that other... Jesus Christ. Is this snow? How far does this lead? So we could go drop down on top of those praying dudes. We could drop down onto that balcony over there. Be wary of pincer attack. Okay, great. I'm seeing nothing. Let's go over here. More more space. More space, more space. Oh, no, 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 not that, not that direction. Moving. So I think I'm going to go here, because... That one stuck behind the barrier. Put that away. Is he swiping over my head? There goes one. Goodbye, I suppose. Now this guy. Am I supposed to follow you?
There we go. And there's a lot of action inside of this building. Gargoyle Flame Spear. That's awesome. So there's one guy on the right. I don't see anything on the left. So that's that. I can't take down another ladder. Which is cool on its own. And that bone shard. This guy died with a candle on his head. And then let's kick this thing down. So that gives us another shortcut. To get back here quickly. Let's dunk our heads in this again. Because that really helped out with those book thingies. There we go. I think it's strange that it goes away actually. Where the hell are we now? Um, What's that? That there in the middle? Let's go check out that knight over there first. Not that he looks friendlier. Evil books. There we go. More dudes? No? What the? From software, fix your textures. There's a hole in the wall. So there's another knight. No, you shall not. I was out of stamina up. That was silly of me. Oh shit, that last one blocked. There we go. I love my blades. I love my blades. These are really cool. I do need to dual wield actually, but... Okay, so we could have dropped down onto this balcony. Glad we actually didn't. Some more Titan chunks. Is this... Because this is not really the Grand Dark Eyes from Dark Souls 1, because it looks a bit different. Okay, so we're pretty much at the top. Unless we can go uh, in classic Dark Souls style onto the rough Thursday, yeah, we can. Okay, I'm gonna shut up now, because I clearly don't know anything. Um, so we can't go through there. We came from over there. And now what's this? Is this a boss fight? Am I gonna die? I'm gonna die, aren't I? Or not? There's a wax statue of something over here. We have the Darkstalker, the King, the Lady, and another Serpent. Can I get one of those guys? Do I have my, uh, I want my binoculars. But maybe I'll put them in the tool belt. Um, let's do this. And maybe even put the uh, the coiled sword fragment in there as well. So let's use this. Let's see who we have. So we have... What is this? A katana archer. A uh, Faram soldier with a great axe. And then whatever that one is. Okay. That was not what I meant to do, but hey. Um... Okay, there's the other one. God damn it, they're all they're all here. So I can take out the sorceress first. Ow!
Oh, shit. Holy shit, what the hell was that? Yeah. Don't make the same mistake as the other guys did. Out of stamina. And out of everything, actually. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna die with 51,000 souls. What's this? Change his crystal staff. Can I go in? I can, but there's not really much here for me. Shit. Okay. Um, now's a good time to use that. Um, hello. Oh shit, that didn't actually damage me. No, I died. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. I can get there really quickly, actually. So, I did kill the sorceress. So, maybe she won't respawn? Wait, what? Oh no, right, that's the wrong elevator. I'm sorry! I panicked for nothing. Let's drop that one down. And then kill this one. There we go. Yeah, he died. Just needed to check that he died. So I should be bringing the elevator down immediately when I do that, because... Um, well... It's going to be easier later on if I die again. But for now... No, no, no! Oh, fuck. Okay, this, so this is not really an elevator where you can do that then. Loody doo de doo Because he moves way too quickly after I send it back up, so I'm just gonna let that uh, stay here. So if I go up, there's a ladder immediately to the right. Still get damaged by these guys, though. So we're going to ignore that one and head out immediately. And let's see who's left on the staircases. So I think, yeah, the sorceress is gone. Ooh, I took that to the face. All time arrows.
So there he goes. Oh shit. Behind the statue so you can't fire at me. Why did he turn around? Why did I turn around? God damn it. Ooh, you're in a corner. Oh, fuck off. Oh, your rest is down. Holy shit. Bye. Okay. I think I did pretty good on that one. So, Onikiri and Ubadasha. I probably strangled that word, but uh, maybe if you give me a second try, I'll do better on that. Where is it? I have no idea where it is. And as usually, I'm just probably blind. There it is. Onikiri and Ubadashi. That's probably better. The hunters known as the King's Black Hands wielded paired weapons. These belonged to Kamui, who looked after the prince. Kamui brought Onikiri with him to the undead settlement, where he forged Ubadashi, and was finally prepared to join the ranks of the royal hunters. Oni Slayer leaped forward and slashed merciless, mercilessly with both blades cutting open foes. So that's great. And then the Golden Wing Crest Shield. Um, there it is. Golden Wing Crest Shield. It's actually a pretty cool shield. A Blue Knight's Shield engraved with a Golden Wing Crest. This shield is exceptional among the enchanted blue shields. Not only does it boast high magic absorption, but also enables its wielder to parry spells. Spell parry, repel an attack at the right time to follow up with a critical hit, works while equipped in either hand, also deflects spells, though, uh, yes, thank you, because that might come in handy, and I think we also found, um, another, this thingy, Sage's Crystal Staff, I think, because everybody else, everything else I already checked, Crystal Catalyst, presented as a gift by the Crystal Sages to their favorite pupil, Krimhild. Oh, so that was Creamhild. Crystal Spheres devour the will of the user, and this staff increases the potency of sorceries at the cost of increased FP consumption for skills. Only for skills. That's actually pretty cool, then. Interesting. We might use that later on. So there's my souls. I think there was a pretty big amount of souls in there. Yeah, 50,000, look at that. Um, what's this? We go down again. Is this maybe a direct line to the bonfire then? Because that would be awesome. Is it? Yes, it is. Oh my god. This is great. Okay. So, a uh, quick warp to Firelink Shrine, because I have 82,000 souls again. So, i uh, see you guys there. And I'm going to see if I can't upgrade these uh, Gotard swords to the max, the Chaos versions. So, uh, Andre, let's see, did I have, do I have enough chunks? I have, look at that, boosted up to plus nine, and I have two more Dyna slabs, don't I? Yeah, so I'm just gonna put it to plus ten. Thank you, Andre. Uh, I am probably gonna have to pop another soul to... Uh, Boost that any further. But well maybe, taken. let's see. I'm gonna level up. I'm gonna go to intelligence first. And I think you already know why, because we have well, intelligence 30 at that point, which allows us to use Dark Edge instead of that uh, measly soul drag. Back again, perfect. Let's give the sorcery Come score. Again. I'm actually wondering if I can't give that to. Carla here, because I like Carla oh, more than Orbeck. Oh. <laughs> oh, I can't. Okay then. 
I'm gonna have to give that to Orbeck anyway, even though I dislike the guy. So give the crystal scroll. This is a crystal sorcery created by the pale dragon. Thought only to exist in legend. I am ever grateful to you. This is truly sublime. You are welcome. I am afraid this is a debt I cannot repay. Only I will be sure to unravel it for you. Just a moment. Okay, thank you. So now I can probably buy those. Ooh, look at that. Home and Crystal Soul Mass. I need 30 for that and 18,000 souls to buy it. Is there anything else? Crystal Magic Weapon. Reinforced White Weapon with Crystal Magic. Which is also nice for the Uchi Katana. Um, anything else? No. So, that Crystal Soul Spear is also... Maybe read those. Uh, sharpens Homing Soul Mass via Crystallization. Releases a Homing Crystal Soul Mass. Crystal Soul Mass has piercing qualities. According to the Crystal Sages, Old Big had achieved enlightenment within the Regal Archives, where he came to find the quintessence of sorcery in the facets of a certain crystal. So we might actually bump into Old Logan if we uh, are lucky. The Soul Spear, according to the Crystal Sages. Yeah, okay, so that's the same. And then this one is actually different. After much experimentation, Logan found the Crystal Medium facilitated a stronger bond between weapon and soul. Um, yeah. So I do want to buy all of those. But maybe I should start with the ones that I actually can use. So now I have 7,000 souls left. Um, so, yeah, I think that's Come again. great. Can I talk to him oh. now, actually? I don't mean to see any in the fall. Because I, I think I found pretty Come much again. every sorcery scroll there is to find, I think. Um, but hey. Let's continue on in the archives, because we're not done yet. And I'm assuming we're uh, still heading towards Prince Lotric in that sense. Wait, I found an undead bone shard, so let's burn it as well. So Estus Flask plus 8 or plus 9? Plus 8 probably. So back to the Grand Archives. And I do still have a bit of time to... Uh, Explore this place before I need to end it. But look at that. That's actually a really cool shield. It kind of fits with uh, Ornstein's armor, the Dragon Slayer armor. Where is the exit? There it is. Okay, so we came from over there. I don't think I missed anything. But let's check it out anyway. So, no. It doesn't look like it. So let's head outside onto the bridge, I presume. Yeah, look at that, holy... I just need to look at that. That is... That is awesome. Really, really awesome. Okay, but those... Butterfly thingies still freak me out, so I can't go... There's a staircase alongside the building here. Be wary of Angel. Angel? Or does they do they mean one of those butterflies? There's the eclipse again. All light indeed. Oh, where the hell can we go? What the? There's a few gargoyles up there, and I ho do hope they uh, wait each other's turns. There's an item here. No dirty messages, luckily because the body was bent over the railing. Um, where is that? There's like a white light shining on the building, but I don't see where it's coming from. Okay. Is there something in that tower? Try betrayal. Visions of tough enemy ahead, therefore try circling around. Time for mimicry. Fuck that. Oh shit. Wow, they actually are angels. Kinda look like angels. Oh hi. Can you uh, come through here? Am 
I slow roll? Oh crap, the shield is probably gonna be heavier. Let's see here. Yeah, 70.8. God damn it. So that's why I was uh, stumbling around, so that's gonna be better. Uh, don't fall down. Just pull the lever. So let's see. Hello! You can throw those? He can actually throw those. Oh, I can backstab these. Right. So that's one. Can I think of large time that showed? Okay. So that probably means that I need to... Oh, I'm out. Dum 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 another one bites the dust dum 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 another one bites the dust Oh wow okay that never happened That also never happened These guys are agile But Backstabable. So, Axe Man, a lot more uh, killable than uh, this guy. Okay. There we go. And there we go again. There we go. Had to risk it. Killed. Um. But I thought I saw three guys on top of that thing. So I don't know... Where did the third guy go? Or did I just completely miss that because they're so fat? Oh no, there's the third guy. There's the third guy. I'm gonna be careful. Don't wanna fight them. I don't have to. I don't see anything else. There is a lot of space here actually. Another item here. That's the shard. Oh, yeah. Maybe too big of an O, but that was awesome. Um, I think I can enter the building without triggering the third one. Because I'd really, really like to. 
because I either can go in here which I don't know what that really do oh shit I can get onto the rafters from here don't antagonize that guy sneaking ring ahead okay that sounds great is there an enemy ahead as well or not This guy does not seem to react. What the hell is this? What? An empty room? How the hell does that work? Okay then, then let's just take the ladder I suppose. Yes, item. Hunter's ring. Hunter's ring. That's a Yarnum Hunter, isn't it? Ring engraved with a portrait of a hunter increases dexterity. How much does it... Wow, five points. The hunters serve Lothric on the fringes and in the shadows. For generations, rulers of Lothric have relied especially upon the Black Hand Hunters to punish enemies in, a, in ways that the King's Three Pillars cannot. Because it indeed is located on a ring that's similar to the Three Pillars rings. But I am missing a few of those, apparently. And the flesh bite ring. It, was it raises poison, bleed, and frost, uh, frost and curse resist. Crafting of these rings is forbidden, perhaps owing to a fear of malleable stone. Clerks rival that will freely in the art. I would want to equip that, but I don't know what I should s switch for that. Because I'm literally at the 70% range here. I could drop down onto the roof but that doesn't do anything I think just gets me down faster than while using the uh, the ladder uh, we could check the back of the building and then we'll drop down on the rafters doesn't look like I can do much here actually so let's try and get in without alerting the uh, the fat angel or whatever you want to call it let's be careful and let's see here I might want to equip a ring of sacrifice for this oh god oh god my vertigo is setting in oh no oh no what's that? It's like a giant bird cage. And it's apparently the only thing I can drop down into. So maybe I should try. There's a crossbeam going underneath it. So if I drop down here and it crumbles. No, it doesn't crumble. How the hell? Oh! That wasn't what I was wanted to do. I didn't see the hole. Divine Pillars of Light. So, um... Is this an angel that just lost its wings? Because that's actually really cool. Divine Pillars, Divine Pillars, there it is. So that's the attack that the angels upstairs used. Miracle of Gertrude, the Heavenly Daughter. Brings down multiple pillars of light in vicinity. The Queen's Holy Maiden Gertrude was visited by an angel who revealed this tale to her. Despite losing both her sight and her voice, she was determined to record the tale. Ordinary men cannot decipher her fragmentary scrawl, nor comprehend how it became the foundation of the angelic faith of Lotric. So they... revered angels, and this is probably one of them. One that they uh, imprisoned, which is actually not really nice. I am gonna... Sorry, but I, I am going to equip a Ring of Sacrifice, because I'm going to die here. And I have 59,000 souls. It's not that much, but it's still a level at this point. Am I going to get attacked? Because this is... God damn it. Um... Okay. I'm going to move. What the hell? 
there's another set of rafters down here. With one of those slugs on top of it. Are those... Angel feathers dropping out of the attack? It is, isn't it? And they clearly don't like fire. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye. See you later. Oh, God. Why ha does there have to be one of these levels in every Dark Souls? And we already had a level like this. I mean, we've been into the Cathedral of the Deep and we spent time on the rafters. I don't even know where I have to go now. Um, oh, oh, I might. There's a ladder. Maybe I do have to take a look around. I mean, why would be able we would we be able to go this way if there's nothing here? Although it doesn't look like there's anything here. So I'm gonna take that ladder carefully. Not dropping off anything. Okay. So he was guarding the only staircase. Let's drop down. Oh god. No. This one. No mimics. That is weird. So divine blessing. We already found that once, I think. And twinkling titanite. So nothing new I need to read. Which is sad because I kind of like that. So we killed that guy before. Oh, so we're at the other side from where we enter through the window. Now the question is, where does this lead? Because I think we've been here, right? Yeah, we've been here. So if I'm not mistaken, this leads back onto the rooftops, which... Is... Hmm... How should I put this? Not really a shortcut, is it? Um... What's the closest bonfire? I'm wondering. Oh no, wait, there's a... What the hell happened? What the hell happened? I think I got waxed to death. I couldn't move anymore. And then of course the magic took, took uh, did the trick. But hey, the Ring of Sacrifice did its job, so we kept our souls. And if that message would disappear, thank you. I'm gonna equip the Claw Anti Ring again. And, uh, well, now that we're back here, we have a quick route to uh, start crossing the bridge, because that's what we're gonna do in the next episode. But uh, first, I'm gonna take a little break. So if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't uh, forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel because I really, really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thank you guys again enormously for watching and I hope to see you in the next video stream. Goodbye!